Um, once again, thank you for watching. This is Robin from City Sewing. Um, this time, I want to show you something. Um, I have this material from one of my customers. I always ask customers when they have a special material to send that in so we could do some adjustments quick. But I want to show you here now, I want you to take a close look of it, what the gauges really means, you know, like the lapper and this gauge here, the rotating gauge, the one that you can, you know, with this, I could lose it, I could move it left and right. I was trying to explain to you before. Now, because this is a, a wider material, I want to make sure that when I put it in, I want to first make sure that this bottom gauge here, what it does actually, as you can see, I want this more wide because I want the needle to actually drop on the left side of the material, right over here. I want, it, I want the needle to drop on the left side. So what I, by doing that, what I do, I just move the gauge to the right. So if we take a quick look over here, you see where the needle goes? The needle right now is going right at the edge of the material, as you can see. Now, once I got that set already, when I'm gonna do the other side, what I'm going to do now in this case is I want the needle to actually go. Now it's going to be completely the opposite. This top lapper here, the lapper, I already adjusted it with my little wrench so that the needle now in the top one is going to fall right, right at the edge of this size. And why do I want to do that? Because what I want to use, I want the lappers not to be on top. They need to be very, very edge to edge. So at least it looks, it doesn't look so bulky. So I'm going to show you now. See, we have a nice clean stitch right on the back. Very nice. Everything is nice, clean, perfect. So, so this is the main goal on the on the on the on the on the gauge and the lapper. You want the gauge to adjust it, that the needle fall on this part here, but then the top one, the lapper, you want it to drop right at the edge of this one. The once it goes on the top, just like that. So that is the, 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 the adjustments you have with the two lappers, one on the top and one on the left. You can see how nice and clean, it doesn't look bulky, it looks just perfect. Nice and flat top and bottom as you can see. See? Right at the edge, everything is at the edge. So same thing, same basics when you're doing a refined material. What you want to do first, you want to adjust your bottom one to be here and the top one you want it to be at the edge. Alright? Once again, thank you for watching. This is Robin from City Sewing www.citysewing.com okay thank you bye bye